potato. Welcome, boys and girls, and all the new people to the Potato Man Army to a movie horror movie review. And today we are reviewing the most infamous one of the most infamous horror movies out there. It's Sallow, or as most people go to know it by, as 120 Days of Solemn. This film was released in. 1975 and it was directed by Pierre pa Paolo Pasoloni um, yeah the, this film was absolutely crazy I watched it yesterday and I've come back to work just literally just got back from work and I want to get this review out to you to you guys because I know a Serbian if people have seen a Serbian film they know that film's known for its grotesqueness and just how awful the film is like the stuff it touches on and how it actually brings it to the human eye i think this movie could be worse than serbian film in my opinion serbian film is filled with more gore this one is more psychological and the stuff they talk about and do in this movie is absolutely shocking but before we get into this review if you could smash that like button and hit that subscribe button because 75% of you from what I've just checked are not subscribed to the channel of who watches so if you do enjoy this horror content the horror reviews the horror reactions the horror gameplays hit that subscribe button and support the Potomac Army on the road to 10,000 subscribers and if you could also share out the content if you did enjoy that would be absolutely fantastic and make sure you also follow all my social media down below in the description and if you have any horror movies you want reviewed f to s from me so you know why is my internet explorer just popped up go away Norton just crazy so um, yeah if you guys want any movies reviewed that you haven't seen yet but you want someone to review them and let you know their opinion on it because that's what I do it's my opinion and you guys can go out and watch it and obviously give your opinion but yeah let's aim for 10 likes on this video and also once again thank you guys for all the support from last night's stream we had a laugh there was a few scares and we finally got to the end of resident evil but yeah you guys have clicked on this video today about sallow sallow is one of the most grotesque movies I have ever come across I've seen some messed up stuff out there I've seen a Serbian film I've seen gateway meat all them are gory and not realistic this one is about children who have been kidnapped by a set of like four rich people from what I could tell and the director of this movie I think it I think that what actually happened was he got murdered before this film got released and I know it sounds bad but thank god he did because there was rumours of him doing a film about the holocaust and stuff like that and how this film turned out I don't think I'd like to see a film about the holocaust made by that man and the stuff these kids get put through I mean this got, ban got banned in several countries because of real depictions of rape of murder, of just some of the stuff that I talk about in this movie is absolutely disgusting. It has all women throughout put through this film, like telling stories and stuff like that. And just some of the stories I tell are telling each other are just horrible to listen to. Yeah, I, I don't even want to see it on the screen, but you have to listen to it while you're seeing other stuff happen on the screen. And it's just not a nice feeling. Like I said, this film is more psychological than shoving gore in your face. And I can tell you now, they shove more than gore in their face. That they make... I can't even tell how they made one scene look so real from people eating shit. You heard that right? They eat shit. Pure shit. The, one of the like, head of whatever this family is like, takes a shit on the floor and he's like there's your dinner and she just thinking about that scene is making me feel sick it's absolutely disgusting I mean Serbian film made me turn the film off due to that one 
infamous scene. But this film made me sit and gag. I mean, she was gagging for me in it, and I felt bad for her. And I was sitting there like, Ugh. <laughs> it's just... And just... This whole film... There's just one word for it, it's vulgar. This film is vulgar. You, it has depictions of rape, it's not just women who get raped, it's boys. And that's also what the director got done for. A lot of people thought these actors who were playing the children were not over the age of 18. When you're looking at some of them, they look like 16, 15, and it's like there's no way these actors are 18. I mean... I had fun from the movie, I know that sounds crazy, I had fun from this film, from watching, um, I think it's The Presidents, he tells some pretty funny jokes in this film, it, it gives you a bit of a giggle, but just everything from this film, the way they speak, the way they're making these kids do stuff, how if they, like, they have sex, um, they have like their genitals cut off, if I remember right, if they have sex, they have the genitals cut, cut off. If they practice any religious act, they get killed on the spot because they can't have sex because apparently their virginity is only prized to these four head people who who own them. It's absolutely crazy, and it's mad to think this stuff still happens today. With um, what? Oh, it, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Where they take women from like other countries and then so like what they did in Taken. Um, sex trafficking, that's it. See, my mind does work sometimes. Um, but that oh, it happens today. But this film's made in the 70s. And I think the one thing that really gone through me with this film was some of the screams some of the actors, the women actors do because they remind me of the original Spit on Your Grave movie, how she screams in that film. It's just not a nice scream to hear. Cause it's just, even the killings, when they kill them, it looks real. That's that's why I like watching these band movies, because I like to see the effects. I know it looks bad that it looks real, but how much passion and heart has gone into that film to make it look real, to shock the viewer. That's why I like films like um, The Gateway Meet, um, August Underground, I think there's a few others out there, I can't remember the names specifically, but how real they look, it's almost close to watching a snuff movie. I'm not saying I'm watching a snuff movie, I'm not letting that get out there. But that's how close it is. I mean, if you guys, I can't say if you guys enjoyed Serbian film, but if you guys enjoy or just like watching band stuff, I enjoy watching band stuff because I like seeing how far we can go with watching some of this stuff. Some people call me crazy for watching stuff like this. But if you like watching stuff like Human Centipede, um, Human Centipede 2, Serbian film, Hostel, stuff like that, you will enjoy Sallow. I mean, Sallow is a more, it's more watchable than a Serbian film. A Serbian film makes you want to turn it off because you're like, I can't watch no more, this is getting too far. But this one, you know, they know there's, I can't say there's a limit, because there's rape and murder and everything. But it it's watchable. It's watchable and it's a very good band film. I mean, sorry for the director getting killed, but when you get news out there that you're making another film about the Holocaust, which is a tragic event, and the way you've made this movie do you really think people are gonna let you go out and make that film it's someone went out there and took his life not to make that film that's my opinion or like someone's heard that and been like nah fuck this we can't make him let make this film or like someone might do that to Zack Schneider if he goes to make another Justice League film oh that's not fair I actually like Justice League <laughs> but um yeah, that's my review of Salo. Let me know, guys, if you enjoy my reviews, because I try not to reveal too much about the movie, what happens in the movie. I try to give the plot and that sort of thing, what happens and how I felt about the film. But this film makes you feel very, 
very nauseous, especially during the shit eating scene. I mean, it's not just that I make one person eat it, the whole table eats it. They spend one day collecting everyone's feces to put it in one big mud pie. I mean, Drop Dead Fred tried to do a mud pie, but this was a shit pie. Literally, a shit pie. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I would definitely say it's recommend worth it to watch, guys. Um, I'm trying to get hold of films like the Plow Kispy tapes and stuff like that. But I'm trying to find another version of August Underground. But I'm thinking my next review might be on the Gateway Meet. But let me know if you guys would like to see that. If you have a movie you would like to see reviewed, Leave it in the comment section down below or over on so or any of my social medias. You can find all down below in the description. Also, um, but yeah, if you've seen Sallow, let me know what you guys thought of it. I want to find out what other people thought of this film. I thought, I would say, like I've already said, I think it tops a Serbian film because it's watchable. I mean, it's a banned movie, but it's watchable. Like, you don't want to turn it off. They'll say... A Serbian film so so far the two ranks for me are Salo and a Serbian film and then I'd say the house that Jack built is the third one because that one's more of an artistic film but yeah I'd say I'd give this film a solid like, I'm not even going by like the rating how good it was filmed I'm going by the, my ban factor now whether it's like how gruesome how grotesque the stuff they've done in it the vulga vulgarity of the film. I will put this on the scale of 8.5 out of 10. So if you've got Sallow or wanted to go and watch Sallow, get yourself a copy and I can't really say enjoy, but enjoy, enjoy watching people eat shit. <laughs> I can't believe what you said. If you have a shit fetish, this is your film. So yeah. But this has been another horror review. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Sorry if I seemed a bit eh today. I have just finished work and um, I've been feeling a bit tired today. But I thought I'll go get this video out to you guys and we're going to have a stream up tomorrow so we can relax nicely. So yeah. Once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this horror movie review. I've been dominating Spud. I love you, Patat Manami. Stay home. Stay safe, and like always, don't forget to stay starchy.